Saturday, July 9th, rest day. Did something a little different this time. Um, stealth camping a few miles off the 101 in the National Park, the National Forest. Um, pretty, pretty secluded. I haven't seen anybody all day. It's about 5 p.m. now. Um, this will be our second night here. Um, it's uh, kind of like a logging road or a forest service road that they we pass some logging equipment. So I think the road's been closed. Dogs are kind of Cooper's under the in the sleeping bag. Twinkie's down there. It's spring. We're under some pretty thick trees and we're still getting a lot of rain. Um, we've got enough food probably for another day, but hopefully we'll be able to get out of here tomorrow if it's not raining too thick, too much. Um, hopefully the rain will subside tonight and we can get out of here and uh, get to. Uh, Port Angeles, where we can stock up on some more food, and from there make our way to Seattle. Um, but right now we're just kind of hunkered down inside the tent, listening to the to the rain. The, uh, the trike and trailer are all underneath a, a sheet of plastic, trying to keep them dry and dry out some of the other things that we've got kind of wet. So this is where we are. This is where we're at. This is what we're doing. Um, not much else to do. Probably write in the journal a little later and pick something to eat and try to get some sleep. Well, we spent a couple days in the wild, I guess you could say, about two or three miles back into that road. Um, haven't seen anybody for two days. We, uh, it's nice to get out of there. It's kind of really dark and damp in there. I think the dogs are enjoying a little sunlight. Got the tents set out just to dry out a little bit before I pack them up. So anyway, we came out of there. Um, it's kind of a really moist rainforest type setting. And came out to this. Clear cutting. A logging road. And then this road should lead us back to the 101 um, but uh, could have stayed in longer just didn't have anything uh, or we only had about three days worth of food so decided it was time to come out and head for um, Port Angeles or we can get more provisions and then make our way to, to Seattle. Um, got, some, got some decisions to make uh, regarding this trip and just uh, related to my health. Um, there's a couple things that are, I guess, limiting factors as far as how far I can go. And one is my health, uh, another is finances. Um, if I can't get sponsorships, can't get people to, you know, or companies or organizations to back this trip, um, it may come to an end. I hate to say that, but that's just, um, you know, I've had a lot of help, but that initial boost um, only goes so far. So um, 
anyway, that's uh, it's not something I want to dwell on. It's something I'll face when I come to it. Uh, the dogs are being dogs. I think there's something down there that they smell. Cooper, stop that. No. Twinkie, stay here. Um, since there are no vehicles here, I don't mind letting them off the leash. Um, they've been pretty good about staying near me, or when I call them, they'll come back to me. So it's it's been interesting. I don't know what's going on in the world. I have no no cell phone connection, no Wi-Fi. Uh, hopefully the uh, spot has been working. I've sent out a message last night with it just letting everybody know that I'm okay where I am but other than that I don't know what's going on in the in the world um, which is kind of nice and it's kind of a little scary at the same time but um, I think I could hack it I could manage living you know off the grid uh, Away, and that would be a great video series. I know there's shows on TV already about you know people living off, you know, in the wilderness or something. I don't know how far I'd want to go into that, doing something like that. But anyway, um, the dogs, I think, like this warmth. It was, it was pretty pretty chilly inside there, down inside under those that that canopy of trees and and but it was kind of fun too I liked it just wasn't a whole lot you can do inside there except for you know sleep and eat <laughs> and it uh, and you know get rained on and that that canopy that almost creates its own atmosphere inside there where you get a lot of moisture that you typically wouldn't get So those tents should, are the tent and the, the rain fly hopefully are dry enough that I can pack them up. Um, I've noticed anything that gets wet um, within probably hours it seems like there's mold growing on it so you have to try to keep stuff dry which is not easy. Um, when you have you know three or four days of continuous rain but uh, there's Twinkie off there exploring. Cooper's not as, he sticks closer by me. He's a good boy. It is beautiful out here. I do like it. It's nice sometimes just to be alone, not have to worry about everything. Um, not have to deal with some people and and just to get out and be on your own for a while. Talk to you all later.